to slack off that quickly after returning to YouTube. I had fully intended on filming yesterday, and basically all hell broke loose yesterday and has been continuing into today and is not yet over. Basically, yesterday started out normally enough, uh, by like, I think like 9 or 10 a.m. we got a call from my sister's high school saying she passed out and come pick up your student. That's never a good sign, so brought her home. First thing she wanted to do was talk to me, which struck me as weird. And she tried to like explain the whole situation of what went down. She said she was in drama class and she was watching some other students perform and all of a sudden she said to the guy next to her because she thought she was going to throw up that uh, she didn't feel good, that she's going to throw up, I'm sorry if it gets on you, and almost as soon as she said it, she said actually I think, and that's the last thing she remembers was being mid-sentence that she thought she was going to pass out, which she did, and apparently the whole passage of time thing is a little muddied to her, because she thought she was out for six minutes. The guy says it was like 30 seconds, but there's more to this I'm going to get to, but chronologically of what went down, I have to tell it in the order of how things were relayed to me. So anyway, so she told me that that happened, and she woke up and came to, and... There was basically everyone in the class around her all freaked out over, oh my god, what happened, are you okay? And still kind of had tunnel vision and felt her heart doing weird things, which scared her. And apparently somebody offered her a roll. All she could focus on was their hand, but she ate the roll and the first bite made her feel even more like she was going to throw up. But after that, made her feel better, which would make sense if it's a blood sugar thing, but we don't know what happened yet. So anyway, regardless, she ate a roll, drank some water, and came home. My dad got on the phone immediately to make a doctor's appointment for her to get things checked out. But the thing that freaked her out was right before she passed out, she also felt like a really weird thing with her heart that she tried to dis uh, not disclaim, describe it to me. And I think I know what she's talking about, but the way she worded it, I feel like I'll butcher it if I, if I even try to rephrase it the way she did but basically she had palpitations but um yeah so he was all freaked out that oh shit does another one of my kids have heart problems now too because that's been my big thing my whole life so he made an appointment for her to get her checked out ASAP they brought her in pretty much the doctor immediately sent her over to children's hospital that's not a good sign so she went over there they had a bunch of blood work done and, um, what else? They didn't do a lot yesterday. They did blood work, but a whole shit ton of blood work. They took six vials from her, um, and they did the uh, physical, and I think that's all they did yesterday, but it took a long time that she was there. She came home, but obviously we don't have the results of those tests back yet, so we have no idea what they say. She went back to Children's Hospital Cut A, to have an EKG done, which for those who don't know, that's when they um, attach electrodes to your chest so they can measure your heart weight or your um, your heart rate and listen for abnormalities, things like that. It all shows up on there. It's instant. It used to be a much bigger deal. Like when I was her age, it's a way bigger deal. Now it's just a little portable thing they can bring into any room. I remember the last time I had one done, I was like shocked at how small the machines are now. But anyway, this isn't about me. So, she had that done, and he had been on the phone back and forth with the doctor's office, like, almost all morning today before she went there, because a newer piece of the puzzle came into play. She was talking to the guy on Facebook this morning, who was, um, the one she passed out on, and he was checking in to see if she was okay, and he was saying how, yeah, freak me out, because, I mean, you're talking to me one second, next thing I know, you're on my lap convulsing, and... Hold the phone. <laughs> what, what did you just say? Convulsing? And ask for clarification? And yeah, now it sounds like it was not just a faint, but quite possibly a seizure. Now, as far as we know, she's not an epileptic, 
And as far as I know, epileptics do not run in this family. So if she had a seizure, that's a sign of something way bigger going on. So he was on the phone with the doctor trying to relay that information to get more tests added on to check anything in that realm because now it's not just a matter of checking the heart, now you gotta check the brain too because of that. So she was supposed to have an EEG done today, which is basically the brain equivalent of what the uh, EKG is, where they check your brain waves and stuff. I've had those, but yeah, it's not a big deal. Anyway, what freaked me out was Oh shit, this is suddenly starting to sound really scarily familiar to what I went through right about the same age as her. She's only one year younger than I was when I was dealing with all of that. And if it does turn out to be that, that means there is definitely a genetic link here we did not know was a thing and probably need to keep a really close eye on my other two siblings just in case anything happens there, but... Regardless, so she goes down. She has the EKG today. She was supposed to have the EEG done too, but apparently there was some mix-up with the doctor's office and they didn't uh, forward in the orders for the test or something. Regardless, somehow they didn't get them, so she didn't have that done today. She has to go back on Monday for that part. And if there's abnormalities found on that, then they have to do a CAT scan. And from whatever they find there will determine whatever next course of action is in either doing more tests or some sort of diagnosis from there, depending on what they find. I'm surprised they're not throwing an MRI in there too, personally, but like I said, it's just kind of scary because, okay, she already has migraines and has had them for several years, really severely, debilitatingly badly. She's on meds for them. Ironically, the meds they give her, or they also happen to be anti-seizure medication. So if she somehow had a seizure even through that, that signals a huge red flag to me that something's very wrong here. And I don't like how it sounds, personally. It freaks me the hell out. But, um, yeah. So that's about where things currently are. She's pretty much just been chilling in her room when she's been home and not at the hospital. Obviously enough, she hasn't been too social through all of it. I don't blame her, but, um, yeah, there's that. So, needless to say, I've been pretty much anxiety-wracked nonstop since this started, because we don't know what the hell's going on with her. I mean, it could be a brain thing, it could be a heart thing, it could be both, for all we know. It could be something totally different. There is a zillion different things it could be here. So, right now, there's a lot up in the air, and it's pretty scary, so... Just saying, that's what happened yesterday with not filming. It wasn't me being irresponsible, it was me trying to cope with all this stuff going on, and since there's no answers yet, pretty much still. And depending what the answers are, may quickly become a even bigger deal depending what they find. So, yeah, so just be patient with me. I'm trying to hang in there and upkeep my responsibilities and stuff, but yeah, I'm working on it. Hang with me. Working on it. So anyway, that's about all I have to say on this. I'll give an update when we know some more, but for right now, we really don't know anything. So yeah, it really sucks. That's about